We're here in La Bresse, France for round three of the Cross Country Eliminator World Cup, talking with Brian Lopes from IBIS. Uh, Brian, uh, third today. Um, you were uh, riding real strong in the last race, the final. It looks like you didn't have so good a start and you got, you got caught behind there at the, uh, before the first corner. Yeah, definitely. The uh, race was going good up until actually the semi and uh, didn't get the best of the start in the semi was actually third going in the first turn and uh, had to had to work hard to to move into qualifying position you know so I think that's what really kind of killed me is that hard effort in the semi and then of course you know you're going into the final you're racing the fastest guys you have less time to recover between the semi and the semi than any other race so I was already pretty beat going into that final and uh, I was just trying to anticipate the start a little bit didn't get it right and uh, ended up costing me big time going into the first turn so I was already behind Made a move into into third pretty quick, and uh, you know was kind of biding my time, biding my time. And then uh, after the stairs section, I tried to make a move on on the guy that actually won. He was in second, and uh, I was right behind him. And they and they kind of slowed down going into the stairs section, and that was you know one part that I was good at. So uh, tried to run it up the inside of him in the next turn before the next uphill. Gave him a little bump, but. I guess I should have bumped him a little harder because uh, I wasn't able to get by him and then that kind of slowed me down and you know that's where he made his move actually uh, the traverse after the the second uphill there was a traverse going into this last downhill section and he charged and the guy that was in first I, I mean I watched it all happen he he went outside and kind of sat up too early before the turn and that cost him the race but you know by that time I was in third and I pretty much knew I had third and uh, there was really no no other places for me to make a move after that. I was pretty hurting as well. So, so how are you feeling about? I mean, three races, a first and a third. I mean, the second one, uh, not 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 quite as good. I don't think you made it past the first round. But um, you know, overall, how are you feeling after after doing this Eliminator series? Because this is the last race. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm happy to win. Happy to win one. I mean, uh, you know, that was my goal to try to win one, I, and I won one. And you know, third's not too bad either. I'm I'm pretty happy with with the circumstances that uh, that I was given. I, I'm pretty happy with third. You know, in Belgium, I wasn't too uh, too happy with that steep climb. But you know, looking back, it it really it kind of was advantageous for me. And in in the semi there, I actually got the whole shot, and the guys behind me crashed. So it allowed me to have an easy semi. It allowed me to conserve and. And that was, I think, you know, one of the big differences between that race and this race is I didn't have no conserving, no energy for the final. But, uh, yeah, first and a third, not too bad. Definitely uh, wish I could have done a little better at Nova Mesa. It definitely wasn't my course and, uh, and it didn't suit my strong points. But it is what it is, and, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So, overall feelings about the uh, Eliminator as a series, you know, you know, good things, bad things, what thing, things that, that you think if it's going to, if it's going to sort of succeed and evolve, what are some of the things that, that, that you see going forward? Oh, well, there's, there's obviously, you know, my opinions and then the opinions of other people and of the UCI, but, um, you know, I, I I race mountain bikes because I like to race in the dirt, you know, and I'm, I'm a dirt rider. Um, so I, I prefer the races to be more in the dirt, but I do understand, you know, they bring them to the cities. Like, there was a good good spectators here, you know, it was, re it was really good for the community and for the average person to sit at the bar and, and watch the race. So I, I get that part of it, and I think out of the three courses, this one was probably the best one. I think it had a good mix of, of everything. Um, but I do think there's a few things they need to work on, and, and one of them is the start. I mean, especially in a, at a race like today, where from the start to the first turn, it, it really wasn't that long, maybe, you know, 80 meters or something. So the start in a race like this can be pretty critical. And when you have a guy shooting a gun and people holding your, your back seat, there's always going to be little discrepancies on what's fair and what's not. And as, as much as I... I understand it's not a BMX race or a four cross race, but there needs to be, in my opinion, some sort of official gate. Whether it's a BMX gate or a ski gate that opens like this, there needs to be a gate. Um, and, and you can't have your team members holding you. I mean, whether it's, you know, a USA guy holding me or, you know, your sponsor holding you. It's just, 
you know, it's just, it can't be fair. When you're talking about tenths or hundreds of seconds, how, how can it be fair, you know? So I think that's one thing that they definitely need to work on right off the bat. And then maybe just throw a few guidelines in, you know, like, you know, it, it has to have at least a couple of turns or at least a couple of obstacles. Just, you know, try to put some technical aspect. I mean, this is, I also think they need to change the name from Cross Country Eliminator. It, it's not, it, so far, I guess Belgium would be the only one that really had cross country elements to it. The rest are like hybrid eliminators. But it is what it is. It's, it's fun. It's something different. It's a new challenge. And, uh, you know, I like to try new things on bikes. So, so are we going to see you at uh, Worlds, try and get another uh, rainbow jersey? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's up to you know, up to USA Cycling, whether they want to take me or not, um, first off. So if, if they give me the invite and give me a spot, then I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to make a decision from there. But, you know, it's fun racing, but to be completely honest with you, these kind of races aren't really a whole lot of fun. They're, they're pretty painful. As you can see today, I was pretty hurting after the final there. They're not, they're not like a race I got done and was like, that was awesome, let's go do it again, you know, like a fun downhill or something. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's not at the top of my priority list to uh, be a cross-country eliminator specialist, you know, for however many, however many years I have left to race bicycles. Okay, well, thanks very much. And again, uh, congratulations on uh, making podium two out of three races. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate, appreciate the support and uh, everybody who watched. Thanks.